Today's financial advice is sponsored by Endeavor Private Wealth. And we're back with Chris McGee, managing partner with Endeavor Private Wealth. He is joining us today by Skype. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. Well, January, I know, was a, a pretty difficult month for investors, and I've heard there's something called the January effect, which says how the market performs in the first of the month of the year foretells its likely direction for the remainder of the year. Is there anything to that? Well, the January effect, or the January barometer, as it's also referred to, is this hypothesis that the stock market's performance in January is predictive of the market's performance for the remainder of the year. Now, last Monday, the S&P 500 rallied nicely, about 2%, but for the entire month, it was still down 5.3%. Therefore, according to the January barometer, 2022 could be a bleak year. However, this coming Sunday, some people think that the Super Bowl indicator may provide further insight. Okay, so uh, what is the Super Bowl indicator all about? The Super Bowl indicator is another theory which claims that if the NFC team, the Rams, win the Super Bowl, the market will finish the year higher. On the other hand, if the AFC team, the Bengals, when the market will finish lower. Okay, is there anything to that? Well, the Super Bowl indicator was introduced in 1978 by a sports writer, and up until that point, it had never been wrong. Since then, it's been right about three-fourths of the time. And I have a personal bias to disclose, is that I'm a Kansas City Chiefs fan, and I wish they could have won last week but I place absolutely no credence whatsoever in the outcome of a football game causing the stock market to perform well or poorly. Even though statistics may suggest otherwise, correlation is not the same as causation. And let's remember in 2020, when the AFC Chiefs won the Super Bowl, the market was slightly down in January, plummeted in February and March, and recovered strongly to finish the year positive. Well, you are not alone with your feelings about the Chief. I'm, Chiefs, I'm right there with you. Is there anything that football can teach us about investing and the markets? Yes, I think there is. A team's performance in the last game may or may not carry over to the next due to a multiple, multiple factors. However, within their control and some with outside of their control. And when it comes to investing, I believe that past performance is not indicative, nor is it predictive of future performance. These statistical anomalies in the, with the January barometer or the Super Bowl indicator may have appeal because they're simple to follow and they're kind of fun and interesting. However, no one can predict the future. Unfortunately, wouldn't it be nice if we could? Uh, now, in light of recent market volatility, mixed economic signals, and whatever these indicators may suggest, what should people do? Well, people should review their financial plans with a trusted advisor who can help them rethink and consider the merits of their current plan and possible changes or adjustments that may improve them. Planning should never be static but nor should investors make ill-considered knee-jerk reactions that they might later regret. All right, Chris, thank you for your time this morning. More great advice, we appreciate that. And to learn more about Endeavor Private Wealth, you can visit EndeavorPW.com.